Hello everybody, it's me, Boy Plus Minecraft, back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly make a Minecraft logo in Affinity Photo. So, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So, you're going to want to create a new project, preferably with a transparent background, and the ratio of the size of the image should... It can really be like anything, but uh, I've just gone with the golden ratio for now. Now this website will be in the description below, or you can just look up dafont.com slash minecrafter.font. And what this is, this is just the font we will be using to make the logo. So if you come over here onto the right and click download. Now, all you have to do is navigate to your download folder on your computer. Then, because it's a zip file, all you have to do is extract it. You can delete the original copy, that's fine. Then you just go into Minecrafter, and these are the two things you're going to want to use. These are the actual font files, so if I go down, if I type fonts, I go into font settings, all I have to do is, once they're selected, I can just pick them up and drag them into the fonts. Now, I have already in installed these fonts, so I don't need to do it again, but that should do it for you guys. So what that means is that we can use those fonts in text in Affinity Photo. So if I type example, uh, and then I go to the font, if I scroll down all the way to Minecrafter, I can choose a Minecrafter as, as the font for the words uh, I'm going to be typing. There we go. So this already looks a lot like the Minecraft logo, but we have a few other things to do. So we need uh, to actually change this to the alternate Minecrafter one if we want to with the cracks and stuff in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of it of the text to this color right here down in the bottom corner to the color of the actual Minecraft uh, logo itself. So there we go. Now we need to give it its outline, and we are kind of doing this early, but we do need to do it. So we're going to go down to Visual Effects when we have it selected, Visual Effects, Outline, and then however big you want your outline to be. I kind of want it to be about uh, that much. I think that's fine. Uh, really, you can choose. You don't even have to have an outline. I just think that it makes it easier to look at. Uh, so yeah, that already looks like a one-dimensional Minecraft logo, as if you were looking at it from the top but we need to add some perspective in. So let's go to the perspective tool. It really helps if you turn the grid, it really helps if you turn, now it really helps if you turn the grid on. Then I'm just gonna kinda move this in so that uh, the dots, so that, then I'm just gonna kinda grab this dot and I'm gonna move it in so that it's just about halfway in between this and that. So, just so that it's a nice little perspective. Really, you can do anything you want with this. I just think it looks nice. There we go. So that's a pretty nice font. That's actually uh, kind of extreme, so I'm going to... There we go. So now we just hit Apply. And, again... Uh... Yeah, so now we can't... So now it's a component. So now, after we've done that, it's actually a pixel layer. So, so now that we've done that, we need to add the outline to our image. And we do that by going to Layer Effects. We make sure the color is black, and then we just make it as big as we want. And we need to go to Outline. Now we need to add the outline to the image. And that's pretty easy. We just select what we want to add the outline to, we go to visual effects, we go to outline, we make sure it's checked, and then make the radius however big we want it to be. I want it to be fairly large, but it's up to you, really. Now, what we want to do is we want to get a square out. So let's, where are the squares? So here's a square. I, I can really make it as big as I want to. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the color. I don't want any lines. Let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the color equal to this bottom color right here. This dark gray. 
and this is going to be our bottom perspective part. So we're going to come over here, we're going to zoom in, and we're going to make it just about as big as the uh, bottom side of the letters. And it's not super important uh, that it's exact, although it, you should try and get it pretty close. Now we're just going to kind of copy and paste this a few times. Uh, we need to make sure it's lined up properly. So this does take a tiny bit. Okay, so now that we have all of these done, let's select every single component that we've placed and let's put them in a group so that we can manage them more easily. And then let's affect the entire group because I don't want, I don't like it being super long. So let's just kind of uh, make it like that. There we go. So already you can kind of see where we're going with this. We're not going to use that for now. Now we're going to select our text. We're going to copy and paste it. Uh, so that we have another piece of text and then wh what we're gonna do we're gonna make this piece of text a little bit smaller and then we're gonna line it up underneath so that there's a nice little 3d effect even though it's not actually 3d and then what we're simply gonna do we're gonna bring this back we're gonna bring our uh, then after we do that we're gonna bring our little bottom side of the letters back and we're gonna use the perspective tool once more to make our uh, to make our outlines line up, so I want to make sure I have this lined up pretty well. Doesn't really matter uh, as long as you're not like making a really weird angle that's jarring. Uh, so yeah, you just need to line it up like that, and then what you need to do, you just click apply, and then we can actually get rid of the second. Uh, then we can actually get rid of the second uh, text layer. So yeah, we have that. Now we're going to add an outline to the bottom and give the whole thing its final shape. So we're going to get the outline of the bottom one, which is 36.9 pixels, whatever you used for it. We're going to go and we're going to go and give our bottom part an outline. And there we go. We might have to move it down a teeny bit. Uh, who knows? Just like that. Yeah. So right now that looks a little bit weird because uh, there are some weird like perspective lines. Uh, yeah, so we just want to make sure it's lined up pretty well. Don't worry about these really weird parts in inside. We'll get rid of them in a few minutes. Uh, so yeah, that already looks really nice. So now for the final step, we need to take a square and uh, we are going to place the square kind of on top of everything. Uh, and we're gonna we're just gonna bring it over here and its color we're gonna set it to black and this is basically the background so let's move this to be behind everything and you can pr you can pretty much see where we are gonna go with this we're also gonna give this the same outline just so that it kinda lines up with everything um, and yeah there we go that's pretty simple now we do have these small things in the corner Now we don't, it doesn't have to go all the way to the edges because then it will cause some really weird like curves, kind of like this. And uh, just kind of like adjust it until it feels right. So there we go. That is a pretty simple Minecraft text. Now it's not perfect. You can see that I was kind of rushed and I didn't make sure my lines were exactly lined up. But it doesn't really matter because you can't exactly tell from a distance at a glance. So yeah, that's how you make a custom Minecraft logo. And then all you have to do is file export and you just export the entire document make sure make sure to get rid of that and then you can just export everything so that guys is how you make a custom minecraft logo in affinity photo if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful make sure to leave a like it really shows that i did a good job and i will continue to make more content if you feel like it make sure to subscribe hopefully this was very helpful to you and i will see you all later see ya